I hate these things so much. Then why were you in such a hurry to get here? Because I hate being late slightly more than I hate awkward social obligations. I mean, if one more person says something dumb like, Look, it's red on the red carpet. I'm going to strangle them. Um, red? Well, there goes my opening line. <laughs> she gets a little cranky when she's nervous. Anyway, I've been covering the WWE Hall of Fame for almost 15 years, and I've never seen anything like this. We've had individuals, tag teams, factions, families, but never a pair of best friends inducted together. This is truly a special night. It really is, Byron. But just because our in-ring careers are over doesn't mean we can't continue to give back to the business that gave so much to us. In fact, that's why I'd like to officially announce I'm available for commentary and hosting work. So, WWE, if you're looking to freshen things up around here, then you know where to find me. Are you trying to take my job? What? I'd never do that. Don't be so insecure, Byron. Okay, well, that concludes one of the most interesting red carpet interviews of all time. Live TV, everyone. What was that? You're welcome for taking the heat off of you. And maybe I was auditioning for a gig. You don't want to stay involved in some way? No. When I said I was done, I meant it. Red. Trey. Velveteen. Congratulations. But just keep in mind. It's one thing to achieve your dreams. But you will never be the dream. Great to see you too. See? That's why I hate these things. You run into all sorts of people you have history with. That was super awkward. Yeah? Well, at least it didn't end with someone getting knocked out like back in the day. Hey, where are you going? The show hasn't even started yet. I don't have anything to do, so I'm leaving. Seriously? You should stay. You never know what could happen, plus it at least gives the impression that you care. I do care. In fact, I care too much, which is why I can't take just sitting around doing nothing while everyone else gets opportunities. We're still relatively new here. I think you just need to give it more time. We've been in NXT for months and I've barely been on TV. And other than you, no one even knows who I am. It's like high school all over again, right down to having to ask permission to use the bathroom. Who makes you do that? Cassius Ono. Wait, is he just messing with me? See? Exactly like high school. Look, bathroom pranks aside, I think you're overreacting. Really? Watch this. Hey, Ricochet! Good luck with your match tonight! Oh, thanks, Troy. He almost got your name right. That's a start. If that doesn't prove my point, I've also asked just about everyone on the roster to be my partner for the Dusty Classic, and they all said no. Or worse, ignored me. Okay, fine. Maybe there's some truth to what you're saying, but I still believe it'll get better. Do you think anyone would catch on if you disguised yourself as a man so you could be my partner? <laughs> as much as I'd love to try to pull that off, I'm focused on beating Rhea Ripley to get a shot at the NXT Women's Championship. It's going to be tough since she still hasn't gotten over the fact that I beat her in the Mae Young Classic. But at least you have the Mae Young Classic win. It proved you belong here. My problem is everyone thinks I'm just riding your coattails. Well, you know what? From now on, I'm going to ride my own coattail. How do you plan on doing that? I need to do something big to get people's attention. Something that'll change the narrative. And I need to do it tonight. I like the fact that you're not just giving up and going home. But keep in mind, I put my reputation on the line by getting you hired here. So anything you do ultimately reflects back on me. I understand, but you have nothing to worry about. Hey, do you know where I could get some handcuffs on short notice? And now I'm worried. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and will determine the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship! Wait a second, what's he doing out here? Before we get to that match, which my friend Red is gonna dominate, 
There's something I need to say. When I was signed to NXT, I was told to make the most of my opportunity. Well, so far, the only opportunity I've had is to sit in the back every week like some kind of glorified cheerleader watching everyone else do their thing while I ask myself over and over again why I'm not out here. Maybe it's because I'm not good enough in the ring, or I don't have the right look, or I rub someone the wrong way. Or maybe it's simply because my friend helped me get a job and no one can see me as anything other than a charity case. I could drive myself crazy trying to figure it out, but one thing's for sure. If I never get a chance to show what I'm capable of, how will anyone know if I deserve to be here or not? Luckily, there's a tournament coming up that has put countless NXT superstars on the map. The Dusty Classic. Only problem is, I've tried and tried to find a partner, and so far, all I've gotten is a bunch of no's, blank stares, and who the heck are you's? But there's one person I haven't asked yet. Someone who calls themselves the Dream. But they've never competed in the tournament named after the real Dream, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. So I'm not leaving this ring until Velveteen Dream comes out and agrees to be my partner. Wait, are, are those handcuffs? Are you kidding me? Get this idiot out of the ring. No wonder no one wants to be his partner. Uh, this is certainly an unconventional way of doing things. He called out Velveteen Dream and thankfully, here he comes. Yeah, hopefully to put an end to this mess. So, are you going to be my partner? Because as you can see, I'm not going anywhere until I get a yes. The dream always keeps a spare handcuff key on his person. You never know when you might need it. If you want the Dream to be your partner, then you need to prove yourself by beating the Dream in a match later tonight. You got the Dream's attention, but let's see if you can keep it. That was certainly unexpected, but Velveteen Dream has made a career out of defying expectations. Look, I don't care how weird that was. At least Velveteen got the moron out of the ring. Let's get back to the previously scheduled match. Me riding my own coattail. Well, maybe give me a heads up next time you're gonna hijack the show right before my match. You got this. We apologize again for the delay in bringing you this number one contender match for Candice LeRae's NXT Women's Championship. Delay is a much nicer term than I would have used. You have to wonder if that interruption will throw either of these women off their game tonight. That's a valid question. But knowing the history they have with each other going back to last year's May Young Classic, I think both Red and Rhea will be more focused on the task at hand. Hooked up. Oh, look at the power. Oh, what a wow. series of strikes from one of the most prolific strikers in the game. 
If you look up bad attitude in the dictionary, I'm pretty sure you'll see Rhea Ripley's photo right there on the page. Rhea Ripley is the walking, talking personification of a bad attitude. Uh, you can't look up bad attitude in the dictionary, Saxton. You can look up bad or attitude. I'll give you, Rhea Ripley certainly has attitude. She's looking relentless now. She's fighting hard and it is paying off. Rhea answers with a decisive big kick. All right, looks like that rocked Red. Red counters with a super kick. Both women are down. It's over. Hold on, both women's shoulders were on the mat when the ref counted three. I saw two, can we get some kind of official ruling on this? we have one. Well, obviously, Rhea Ripley and Red both believe they want to deserve the title opportunity, so I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens next. What else could go wrong tonight? If you missed the opening moments of our broadcast tonight, Trey called out the Velveteen Dream, demanding he be his partner for the upcoming Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Yeah, but you left out the part where Trey handcuffed himself to the ropes. Luckily, Velveteen had a key here that idiot would probably still be stuck in the ring. Oh, well, let's not forget what Velveteen Dream said. If Trey can defeat him, Velveteen will be his partner for the Dusty Classic. There's a lot riding on this match. Oh, this guy Trey's only here because his friend got him a job. There is no way he's going to beat Velveteen Dream. As we've seen countless times over the years, superstars oftentimes try to make a statement with their entrance. And I think it's safe to say that Velveteen Dream did just that, Byron, at NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. Yeah, and leave it to Velveteen Dream to bring out an entourage prior to one of the biggest matches of his career. Trey's setting up for a suplex, but Velveteen blocks it twice. <sighs> Velveteen Dream hits the neck breaker. Maybe you'll find a partner next year, pal. And now he's going to the top. This might put an end to Trey's hopes of competing in the Dusty Classic. Do it, Dream. Purple Rainmaker. Thankfully, this is all over. Come on, cover him. What's the hold up? Wait, what's Velveteen doing? No, no. He's telling the referee to count. Velveteen Dream is letting Trey win. You gotta be kidding me. What the heck is he thinking? Why would you do this? Maybe Velveteen wanted to be Trey's partner after all. Who knows with Velveteen, but that guess is as good as any. I can't believe it. This dream just turned into an absolute nightmare. Velveteen's confusing actions aside, you're looking at the newest team to enter the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. I heard what you said last week about wanting to prove you belong in NXT. I respect that, but it's not going to come at our expense. No, sir. Not our expense, Tucky. We came back to NXT for one reason, to win the Dusty Rhodes Classic. Back to win the whole enchilada. I actually watched your previous Dusty Classic matches to try to get an advantage, but there wasn't a lot to go on. You know, because you always lost in the first round. You went there, huh? He did go there. Sounds like he wants to fight. I'm just stating a fact. Then here's another one. Tonight, we're gonna destroy you. That's right, Ducky, cause we're coming! I let you win last week because the dream thought about what you said 
and I want to prove that I am the real dream. That's all this is. You're just lucky to be along for the ride. Okay, fine. But now that we're partners, shouldn't we discuss strategy or something? Here's a strategy. Stay out of the dream's way. Hey, I ran into Triple H earlier and assured him your stunt last week was just a one-time thing. You're lucky he thought it was good TV or you might be out of a job. Triple H thought I was entertaining? That's great! That's not exactly what I would have gotten out of that statement. Nonetheless, I'm happy you found someone to team with for the Dusty Classic, even if it's Velveteen Dream. What do you mean, even if? I just don't think he's the most trustworthy partner. But hopefully I'm wrong. He's too set on proving he's the real Dream to pull anything on me. So don't worry, I'll be fine. But what about your big contract signing tonight? You have anything planned? Yeah. I'm gonna go out there and sign the contract. That's it? These things are all about playing mind games with your opponent to get an advantage in the match. Like, what if you brought your Mae Young Classic trophy to the ring with you? That would really get in Rhea's head. Okay. Since you seem to know about this sort of thing, I'll take your advice and bring the trophy out. Great. So, what did Triple H say about last week being good TV? Did he like my promo, or the handcuff move, or just everything overall? You should focus on your match. 